my god, Caroline. What are you doing? Uh, Auntie told me to wake you. Uh, uh, okay, do you know what for? Your Mac guy is downstairs. What? Oh, that's right. He's supposed to show me around today. Mm, what for? You're nosy. <laughs> I prefer curious. <laughs> right. Come on, I want to know. Makai is just being nice. <laughs> Liar! What? Don't get me wrong, Makai is nice. But he's not good with people, especially new people. Yeah, I, you know what, I can definitely see that. So what? <sighs> Look, I've offered my help here in Ellesmere. Just to help around, but before I can, I have to be watched by Makai. Just to see if I'm a threat or not. I don't think you are. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't think someone who's a threat would offer their food to someone in need. Mm, well, you have a point, but so do they. Uh, I guess? Go on now, let me get dressed. You can tell Makai that I'll be down soon. Okay. Try to hurry up though, Makai isn't very patient. Mmm, <laughs> I can only imagine. <sighs> I wish we didn't part the way we did. Even if you banished me, you're still my father. Hey, good morning. Morning. So, um, what's on the agenda for today? I was told by Lord Gabriel that I needed to shadow you for today. Then, by night, we will circle back to the town hall to discuss important matters. I see. Um, is there anywhere we can get some food? I'm starved. Yeah, follow me. This is our bakery. They serve all kinds of meals. The women who work here are Zoe and Evelyn. They are very talented in the culinary arts. My, my, if it isn't my best customer. Makai. Well, you know I can't stay away from the food here. Oh? I see. <laughs> and who is this young, beautiful lady? This is Octavia. She's new here. It's a pleasure to meet you, ma'am. Well then, welcome. My name's Evelyn. My daughter Zoe helps me around this place. Do you guys know what you like? I'd like my usual. Hmm, the biscuits and gravy with a cup of coffee? Yes, mom. Okay, and for you, dear? Oh, um, can I get bacon and eggs? With orange juice, please. Absolutely. Have a seat and Zoe will bring it out shortly. Thank you very much, Evelyn. Anytime, sweetie. Thank you. So, biscuits and gravy. Are you trying to make small talk over my food choices? <laughs> yeah, I, su I suppose I am. I've just always liked it. Alright. Your tattoo. What? It's from Floris, right? How do you? I've traveled there in the past for trade. Floris is far from here, at least a three-day journey. Why trade so far? You're changing the subject. I'm not, but if I'm going to help here, I need to know why trade is so far. <clears throat> Sorry to interrupt. Here's your food. Oh, thank you. Thanks. So, um, Makai. What is it? You, um... Look good today. What? Um, I just meant you look nice. Oh, um, thanks? <laughs> Have a good day, you two. Oh my god. What? Are you dense? Excuse me? She was complimenting you. And? She clearly finds you attractive. I'm not following. You are dense. She- she likes you, Makai. Oh. Do you like her? Octavia, I'd like to continue our conversation. We can. We can. After you tell me. I don't. Are you lying? No. Honestly, I have no interest in stupid things like this. Mm, I see. I'm sorry then. <sighs> our trade is far away because we can't get our needs anywhere else. We've tried, but the leadership has no need for us. Floris did, so we got our trade from there. Oh. Did you used to live in Flores? <clears throat> yeah, I, I did. I'm sorry about your village then. Yeah, 
You said you learned Lord duties from your father. Are you... My father and I don't speak anymore. I understand. But, to um, answer your question, yes. I'm Lord Maverick's daughter. Sorry for prying. It's okay. You're doing your job. How many survivors were there? Honestly, we don't know. After the village was burned down, everyone scattered. My father tried his best to rebuild, but people were too scared to return. Many left the remains of their things there, Floris. All I really know for sure is that my father survived, I survived, my best friend survived, but many, many others didn't, including my mother. I'm sorry for your loss. Yeah, me too. <clears throat> but we move on. Oh yeah, we, we move on. We have no choice. You're right. We do. Uh, right in next. I'll give you a tour. Are you finished eating? I am, but um, let me just get my coins. Uh, how much was my meal? Don't worry about it. Huh? I'll pay. No, no, you don't have to do that. Guards and leadership eat for free. That's not good for the bakery. I know. Which is why I pay anyway. It's so peaceful here. It is, and it needs to stay that way. Are you afraid? Of... The corrupted souls? I am. I've seen what they can do. There is no humanity in a corrupted soul. I, I, I see. Are you... You have no idea. We protect one another here. Safety you'll never have to worry about. The Lord and our men have no doubt about the safety. We're constantly trying to get better guards, make them stronger. Safety takes up so much time that we don't have. The people here, they need more. They deserve more. I understand what you mean. I want to help Makai, so please. Enough with this tough guy act. It's not you. I have to be careful. For my people, Octavia. I know. But something you'll learn about me is that you don't have to worry about me at all. Not a threat. I can see that now. I'm glad. You're here! We are, sir. It's nice to see you again. <laughs> Likewise. Have a seat. Your verdict, Makai? She's no threat, sir. Good to hear it. Let's discuss what needs to be done. Landon, this is Octavia. She's here to help us with Ellesmere. Pleasure to meet you, ma'am. Thank you for offering your help. Of course. Anything you need, I'm here. I trust Makai's judgment. He wouldn't say you're no threat very easily, but I think we should know why you think you can be helpful. Landon! What? We don't know her or her credibilities. No, it's okay. Um, I grew up in Flores. I actually heard that you guys had done trade with us before. I watched my father strengthen our village from just nothing. Your father is Lord Maverick of Flurries. Yes. I'm very sorry for the loss of your village, Octavia. I knew you looked familiar. We've done trades for so many times. I'm surprised I didn't realize it till now. I've seen you time and time again. We've never spoken, but I've seen you plenty. Well, then I'm happy fate has brought us back together again. Flores was a beautiful village. No, oh, it was. I'm very sorry for your losses, Miss Octavia. It must have been terrible. It was terrible, yes. But I have the knowledge you seek. I know how to run things. I know what we need. And I can help us with better trade routes. How? By setting up a meeting with Verona. 
Let me speak to the Lord. Let me do the convincing. The first things we need are not to get produce, but the produce seeds. We need to get animals to breed. We need the materials, the lumber, the stone. We need to make a windmill in farmlands. I'm not sure we can pull that off. I can't leave the village right now. Then I'll go. Find me a route and make a map to Rona, and I'll get whatever we need. I can't send you alone. It doesn't seem right. I'll go with her. I don't know. I can't send out two horses. You don't have to. I actually have my own. Please, Lord Gabriel, let me do this, Prelismir. I say we let her. What's the harm in it? I agree. Landon, what do you think? The nearest village, I believe, is Verona Village. It's a day trip. I think we can manage on our own for two days. Okay then, it's settled. Octavia and Makai will leave as soon as tomorrow morning and go to Neos Village. I'll have money and some food ready for your departure. Meet at the gates at dawn.